This is Smiles TV. Welcome to Smiles TV. I'm Stephanie Anthony Miles, and we're still taking you on a journey with Southwestern Illinois College. Today, we'll be discussing their English as a Second Language program. You don't want to miss this broadcast. Remember, Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. He was crucified and buried, and he rose on the third day. Confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God has raised them from the dead, and thou shalt be saved. Stay tuned for more smiles. Welcome to Southwestern Illinois College, more commonly called SWIC. There is a campus near you. SWIC campuses are in Belleville, East St. Louis at the East St. Louis Higher Education Center, the Sam Wolf Granite City Campus, and the Red Bud Campus. There are even available classes online. If you take a look at SWIC's Adult Education and Literacy Department along with SWIC's Workforce Equity Initiative Program, you're bound to find a fit for you. Certifications are available in highway construction, transportation distribution, and logistics, warehouse forklift safety, welding, unarmed security officer certifications are available, practical nursing assistant, and phlebotomy. Are you in need of high school equivalency classes? English as a second language classes? Sounds like a lot of money to you, right? Well, you might be surprised to find that many programs and courses are free and financial aid available for those who qualify. The financial aid office is available to assist you. One last thing, SWIC's Adult Education and Literacy Department along with SWIC's Workforce Equity Initiative Program works diligently to prepare you for employment. SWIC's Student Services Department was created for you and it is available to help you. Let SWIC help you to chart your path in the right direction. It's your time. Take a step. Move forward with SWIC. For additional information, call 618-235-2700. 618-235-2700. Welcome back to Smiles. I'm talking with Leslie Wagner, the program director for the English as a Second Language at Southwestern Illinois College. Thank you for coming to Smiles Television. Thank it's you, a Stephanie. pleasure to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. You have a, a very, very important program. English I think as so. a second <laughs> yes, you do. English as a second language. Mm -hmm. First of all, tell me a little bit about you. Well, I have been in the English as a Second Language, or ESL, field for about 20 years. Um, I started with a master's in teaching English as a Second Language, and I taught adults university level for about 10 years, and then I became the director um, at Southwestern Illinois College. Okay, and, and at the college, um, mm -hmm. roughly how many students would you say are in and out of your program? Well, in a normal year, mm -hmm. not a COVID year, right. we have <laughs> between 200 and 300. Okay. Um, our enrollment dropped in this past year because of COVID, but we maintained about 100 students at, every, at each semester. Mm -hmm. so, and where are your classes taught? So we have classes at the main campus in Belleville, the Granite City campus, and we also do um, classes at the Fairmont City Library because that has such a high percentage of immigrant population that need classes. Prior to the actual mm -hmm. interview, we were talking mm -hmm. off camera, and you were mentioning how the flow would change depending on various circumstances. Mm -hmm. Can you share that information? Yeah, so there is a very high immigration population in this area, which a lot of people don't know. Um, we have students from over 40 different countries, and we have approximately 30 different language groups in our program. Probably about 60% Spanish speaking, but we have students from Asian countries, some European, some African countries. So it's very diverse. Um, a lot of times we have higher immigrant 
numbers from certain countries. So right now we have a lot of people coming from Honduras. Um, so that is something that is new this year. Um, so yeah, uh, population of immigrants can fluctuate depending on the political situations in our country as well as their own countries. Tell me a little bit about the setup of the classes and, um, mm -hmm. and how that goes for the students. Yeah, so um, our ESL classes meet for usually two. They meet twice a week, about three hours for each class. Um, our classes are broken into different levels depending on the students' English skills. We do reading, writing, speaking, listening, um, a lot of technology. We, so we have them working on the computers. Um, and the goal is, of course, for them to be more integrated and comfortable in this culture. Because, of course, if your English isn't where it needs to be, finding jobs, um, seeking out further educational opportunities is really going to be impossible. Mm. So that's our goal. Is okay. to enable them to do what they want to do. And if they are interested in coming in um, as students, um, do you also have tutors in your area? We have classes. If someone has very low literacy or really struggles mm -hmm. with, with that, we will use um, Project Read tutors to help them with that. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So the process for the student, they simply need to call the campus and tell yeah, them? Yeah, just call the campus, email me, and then I will set them up with an appointment to get them um, assessed, tested, and placed into class. Okay. Yeah. You've shared a wealth of information. Is there anything regarding your, your department that we have not discussed that you think is vitally important for those to hear? People need to know that we are open to all adults. We are free. Um, if, don't hesitate to contact us. We'll be really happy to help you out and provide you, enroll you in class. Okay. And Thank you so very much for uh, being a guest on Smiles Television. We're doing a series for Southwestern Illinois College, and we're just so glad that you're a part of it. Thank you. And the phone number to call if you're interested in their English as a second language uh, program is 618-235-2700. Are you looking for an insured and bonded residential or commercial contractor? On-time contracting, owned by Ali McDowell, is just a phone call away. On-Time Contracting operates with the utmost integrity and quantities to complete your project right on time. Residential or commercial, exterior or interior, roofing, siding, flooring, you name it. If you want your project completed for the price quoted and at the time quoted, contact On-Time Contracting. Good, quality, professional work guaranteed to be completed on time. Call 618 567 3591. No project is too large or too small. On Time Contracting. Call On Time Contracting today. Welcome back to Smiles TV. I'm talking with Jenny Margarita, and she's over the Project Read program at Southwestern Illinois College, SWIC. Jenny, how are you? And thank you for coming to Smiles TV. Oh, I'm doing great. Well, thanks for having me. I hear that you have a wonderful program, and uh, we want to let everybody know about it. Tell us, first of all, about you and your background. Well, I went to St. Louis University. Uh, I was an English major, and um, for the past uh, 24 Five years, I think I've taught English, uh, uh, all levels of English at the at the college level. Um, I studied abroad in Spain and ended up living there when I graduated. And then when I moved back, I um, pursued my master's degree at SIU and graduated um, with an English master's of English and um, specialization in the teaching of writing. Wow! So, what is it like being in Spain and then coming back to the Midwest? Oh my gosh! Well. I lived in Madrid, so it was a very big city, okay. and I moved back. Um, I live in Edwardsville now, so um, a little different, just s slower pace, but I like it. I like it a lot. Um, it was a great experience living in Spain. It taught me a lot about um, just appreciating my own country. Um, it really humbled me when you learn another language. Uh, you can't communicate. You can't go to the store and get things, so it really uh, taught me a lot. Um, 
just, you know, uh, what other people probably have to go through when, um, when they come to the United States to learn another language. Project READ. What is Project READ and um, tell us your role in it. Well, I'm the coordinator of Project READ and it is a grant funded program. It, um, it helps all people, a lot of the people who come to our program, um, they want to pursue their GED. And so we can help um, in that aspect with the reading, um, enhancing their reading abilities. Uh, they, some of our some of the students that come to us, they um, they have their GED, but they feel like they didn't get the the help that they needed um, throughout their education to become um, uh, you know proficient readers. And um, they're all adults, all older, uh, eighteen years of age and older. And um, so we facilitate that with a tutor, and it's one on one. And the tutor um, meets about two hours a week with the learner, and um, and just and really shares their joy of reading with this uh, learner, mm -hmm. and and helps uh, enhance their reading abilities. And I do understand that the uh, SWIC has campuses in various locations. Mm -hmm. What campus um, is Project Read available? Project Read is available on every campus. Um, we have tutoring going on here at the East St. Louis campus, Belleville, Granite City, Redbud. So, um, and you don't have to be a student at SWIC to receive our um, program. You can be a member of our community and and come into the office and and uh, and then we we go from there. Okay. And what's the process for individuals individuals who might be interested? Well, they come into, uh, into our office, and I meet with them, and I talk about their goals. And um, as, I, as I mentioned before, there are a lot of different, um, everybody has a different goal, right? Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we, meet, we meet, and I, I um, get to know the learner and um, their goals. And then um, I try to find a tutor that, that's a good match with that learner. Um, and then, then the the meetings, you know, pretty much start right after they meet with me, or I try to get it going as quickly as I can. Are you in need of tutors by any chance? I am in need of tutors. Mm -hmm. Yes, we need tutors, and I tell you what, it is such a um, being a tutor and helping um, students with the reading. I think it's such a rewarding. Um, job. They are volunteers, and uh, we just had a tutor training on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So we had four new tutors that that I trained, which um, which is exciting. But we still need more. And of course, you know, due to COVID, we lost a lot of tutors, um, and so we're trying to rebuild um, the tutors. Uh, just getting more tutors. So, what are some of the qualifications that a tutor must have? Well, they have to have, um, though they have to be an adult, they don't have to be a teacher, um, and um, they have to, um, I guess, be flexible with mm -hmm. their time. So I don't want to say that you have to be retired to do it. I will say that uh, the four tutors that I tutored on Tuesday, they were retired. Um, but I have some tutors that are current college students now that are tutoring. Um, one of the tutors is actually went through our program and um, got his GED, and now he's taking classes at SWIC and he's tutoring. So, um, but you don't have to be a teacher. A lot of times, people think um, that you have to have an education. Yeah, and I've had background. people call about it, and no, you don't. You, um, if you if you love to read, you're able to share that with someone, and it's such a rewarding. Um, it's just a rewarding thing that you can do. I mean, there's nothing better than, and especially when a lot of our learners that come to our department or when they come to me, um, they've had different experience with education and n not always positive. And so a lot of times their self-esteem is, um, is low. And so it's so important that when you work with a student that, um, you know, you keep that in mind and that you help, um, you know, build it up.
So if individuals are interested in becoming a tutor or um, participating in the program, how can they um, do so? So they contact me okay. and then I will call them back and, or if I'm there, I'll talk to them. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then they come in and they meet with me and they fill out a form. And if you want to become a tutor, then I will, um, I will let you know when the tutoring session, it's just a one-time training. Uh, with me, and you'll there's usually a couple other tutors, obviously, in the mm -hmm. training that you that you train with. Um, and then, if you want to become a learner, it's the same thing. You can contact me, uh, and I will meet with you. and And as I said before, I'll talk to you and you, what your goals are, um, and just your background and 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 that kind of thing. I want to thank you for taking time to talk with us, and we'll be placing the number so individuals can call. I know the main number is 618-235-2700. Um, Just call that number and um, inquire about the program. I want to thank you for spending time with Smiles TV. Um, you have an excellent program, and um, welcome back from Spain. We're glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to be here, and thank you so much for having me. Yes, ma'am, and if you are interested, in uh, the adult education program, please call SWIC at 618-235-2700. Stay tuned for more smiles. Hi, my name is Sterling Moody. I'm the owner of Neighbors Market, 1005 North 15th Street, on the Echo Jazz building across from Emerson Park Metrolink stop. We have fresh barbecue Friday and Saturdays. We have Sunday through Saturday, open from 7 to 7. Look forward to seeing you in the store. IDEX Media does a lot. From IDEX Photography to IDEX Films. We help create forever memories and forever impressions. Imagination. Image a world. IDEX Media. Awesome sauce. Yeah, baby. Mm.